a milk bar owner has put up a sign banning black teenagers from his store because he's furious with gangs of intimidating thieves. He's come under fire for being racist, but he says enough is enough. For one man, this is a sign of the times. For others, it's a throwback to a shameful era of bigotry. This is what sparked the controversial sign in a Melton milk bar. Eight dark-skinned youths enter the shop. As some menace the store owner, others shamelessly begin stealing items from the shelves. A group surrounds the counter as others help themselves to whatever they choose. The store owner arms himself with what appears to be a golf club. Eventually, the group is ushered out. No items are paid for. The store owner then put the sign up in frustration. Always uh, it's a lot of time stealing come here. I'm so better, I'm hungry. And there was some understanding from locals. It's not good. You know, I can understand why he's done it. You know, he is a shop owner, it's his business, you know, it's his livelihood. The store owner says the sign was an impulsive reaction to this morning's confrontation, one of about 20 similar incidents he's endured over the past two years. He didn't, though, anticipate the outrage it would generate. A lot of time, so very, very angry. Yes, always black person. Yeah, young boy after play soccer. This afternoon, the sign was taken down. The debate it has generated, though, will linger far longer. Brendan Roberts, 7 News. A Melton milk bar owner has come under fire for posting a sign in the window of his store banning black teenagers from entering, claiming they always steal. The owner said he made the notice hours after a group of teens stole items from the shop. Lot of black uh, young boy. A lot of times, a lot of times stealing something. Police say they do not support the language of the poster and deemed it inappropriate. It's since been taken down. Police are hunting a young man and his two accomplices following an armed robbery in Taylor's Lakes. A dark-coloured sedan pulled up to the Kings Road business early yesterday with two men staying in the car while the third walked inside with what's believed to be a gun. The offender demanded cash before leaning over a wire barrier and helping himself. He ran from the shop with the getaway vehicle last seen on the Melton Highway.